When someone defends ultra-processed foods with studies, I'm starting to ask questions. This guy chose to ignore all of my other points about why this study is weak and he made it about fun. He brought Joey, the guy that in each of his videos is saying at least five times that he has a PhD to bore us to death with an irrelevant explanation. So I also brought a guest. While I appreciate the pursuit of higher education, there's a few small problems with relying on this. As Noam Chomsky put it, the indoctrination is so deep that educated people think they're being objective. The first big issue is who decides what this education is. The American Society of Nutrition and Dietetics controls the accreditation of over 600 programs in the United States. The same organization that receives millions of dollars from big food, partnerships to promote foods like Kraft Singles, and quid pro quos like with Abbott to influence pediatricians to push their product PediaSure, as well as being major stockholders in companies like Pepsi. Now to the topic of the research that we're talking about specifically, not only was it funded by the American Beverage Association, two of the authors were paid consultants for Coca-Cola. This is the same American Beverage Association that published this response in an attempt to discredit the findings of this study linking sugar-sweetened beverages in adolescent children and weight gain, only then to launch the Mixify campaign to promote non-sugar-sweetened beverages in an effort to make communities healthier. We also conveniently leave out studies like this that suggest artificially sweetened beverages are linked to increased risk of type 2 diabetes, hypertension, all-cause mortality, cardiovascular disease, and obesity.